Ah, that first sip of McDonald's Coca-Cola. There's nothing quite like it, is there? A soda so good you would make a trip to your nearest Golden Arches just to get it. And you probably don't need us to tell you that the Coca-Cola from McDonald's is totally delicious. Always refreshing and with just that perfect amount of sweetness, McDonald's Coca-Cola is a perfect companion to your burger and fries. But hey, we promise this video is not just an advert for Coca-Cola and McDonald's. We've got some interesting stuff to discuss about McDonald's favorite fizzy beverage. Have you ever compared the Coca-Cola you get from McDonald's to the Coca-Cola you get in a can or bottle? Go ahead, try it. There's definitely a difference. Now, you're probably wondering what makes McDonald's Coca-Cola so different and so extra tasty? After all, isn't all soda just made of the same ingredients? Water, sweetener, flavoring, and a bit of carbon dioxide for fizz? Well, that's what this video is all about. There are actually a few secret reasons why McDonald's Coca-Cola tastes better than the rest. And once you know what they are, you'll be paying extra attention to the taste of your soda from this day forth. First of all, a bit of a backstory about the long-term relationship between Coca-Cola and McDonald's. Because there is a reason why you'll likely never see the blue, red, and white of a Pepsi logo at McDonald's. This is because Ray Kroc, the man who helped to spread the McDonald's name all across the country, made an exclusive deal with Coca-Cola all the way back in 1955, a deal that the franchise has maintained ever since. That deal between Coca-Cola and McDonald's is so steadfast that Coca-Cola sales representatives are actually not even allowed to sell their product to another restaurant for a lower fee than the one paid by McDonald's. The relationship between the two companies is so important that Coca-Cola even has its own division at McDonald's. According to Dick Starman, a friend of Ray Kroc's, McDonald's and Coca-Cola help each other grow and expand around the globe. Neither one would be where they are today without the other. Okay, history lesson over. Now you know why Coca-Cola is a permanent fixture at every McDonald's and why you'll probably never be able to order a Pepsi. So let's get into all of the tricks McDonald's uses to make the soda taste so good. Now there's actually a bit more complex science that goes into properly creating soda than you would think. The water needs to be the right temperature and the carbon dioxide needs to be at the right pressure. And there is a bunch of scientific information about how it all works that we won't take up your time with today. All you really need to know though is that in places like fast food restaurants, soda is typically made directly at the time of order. It doesn't come in the typical cans and bottles, it is instead made by a special machine. The flavoring of each type of soda comes in batches of syrup concentrate, and soda machines usually contain 6 to 8 different ones. These batches of flavoring are then attached to pressurized carbonated water systems, which automatically mix and dispense preset amounts of syrup and water. You will have seen the machines that make soda every time you go into a McDonald's. They are the ones that simply require the staff to press a button, and voila! Instant soda! Usually, a restaurant will store the soda syrup in large, clear plastic bags, but not McDonald's. Their Coca-Cola syrup is delivered and stored in stainless steel tanks at a fast food restaurant's request. On paper, this doesn't seem like such a big deal, but the storage method is actually one of the key secrets that makes their Coca-Cola taste so much better. If the soda syrup is kept in clear plastic bags, the flavor of it degrades faster, as it is exposed to light, air, and unstable temperatures. When the soda syrup is kept in stainless steel tanks, a la McDonald's Coca-Cola, the syrup stays at a high level of quality, meaning a high level of tastiness for you. Another thing that can affect the taste of sodas that are mixed in places like fast food restaurants is the quality of the water. It's pretty simple. Poor quality water equals poor quality taste. So how does McDonald's, a company that has restaurants across the globe, ensure that the quality of its soda is always up to scratch, no matter the location? Well, the franchise uses high-quality water filtration systems. No matter where the water is coming from, you can rest assured that it's going to make your Coca-Cola taste great. McDonald's also pays a lot of attention to temperature when mixing their sodas. We all love the fact that McDonald's sodas are always ice cold even on the hottest of days. But there's more to it than just adding a whole lot of ice to the drink. McDonald's pre-chills their syrup so it is already cold before it's mixed into the soda. This is better than most other soda machines which simply flash chills the soda as it is dispensed. 
McDonald's also has a special insulation system that keeps the water in the soda dispensers pre-chilled. This involves sending ice-cold water from the restaurant refrigerators through the soda dispenser, ensuring that the Coca-Cola you're sipping on is as cool as can be, even without ice. Speaking of ice, many of us order our sodas without ice for two main reasons. First of all, no ice means more soda. And secondly, no ice prevents the soda from getting watered down as the cubes melt. Well, next time you order a Coca-Cola from McDonald's, you shouldn't go without ice. You'll actually be getting a much less tasty drink. This is because McDonald's has calibrated the ratio of syrup to water to accommodate ice being added. There are also secret lines on the cups that they use that determine the fill line for a particular beverage with ice included. Meaning that whatever drink you get, it'll always have the correct liquid to ice ratio. Now you can keep your Coca-Cola cold without having to worry about the taste being diluted by those pesky melting ice cubes. Alright, so far in this video, we have spent a lot of time talking about what McDonald's does to make their Coca-Cola taste so incredibly delicious. But we also need to talk about how they make it so refreshingly crisp and bubbly. Once again, it's all got to do with science. We mentioned before how McDonald's pays careful attention to the temperature of the water used to make their soda. And this is not done just to ensure a nice cold drink on a hot day. No, keeping the water at a lower temperature also means that the carbon dioxide used to give the Coca-Cola its bubbles does not escape from the water as easily, meaning that it takes a longer time to lose its fizz and go flat. And as we all know, there is nothing worse than a flat soda. Lastly, McDonald's also pays a lot of attention to not only what you drink, but how you drink it. Most of us have probably never thought much about why those yellow and red striped straws from McDonald's are so much larger than regular straws. But there's a specific reason. The straws are bigger so that you can drink more of your soda, therefore distributing the taste evenly across your taste buds. That sounds overly complex for something as simple as a straw. But it just goes to show that McDonald's is taking the soda game very seriously. So that brings us to the end of our video. Now you know the secrets behind why McDonald's Coca-Cola is so incredibly tasty, science, and smart product design. Next time you pull up at the McDonald's drive-thru, pay an extra bit of attention to the Coca-Cola you're drinking. You know it tastes better than Coca-Cola from anywhere else, but now you also know why. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more interesting videos like this.